Welcome! In this video, we'll walk through the basic process to configure your new Trimble Catalyst DA2 antenna for use with ArcGIS field maps. If you're new to ArcGIS field maps or ArcGIS Online, Frontier is an Esri Gold business partner and offers GIS consultative services to ensure you are set up for success with ArcGIS Online before you hit the field. To get started, you'll need to download the Trimble Mobile Manager app and the ArcGIS field maps app from either the Google Play or Apple App Store. Next, you'll want to configure your hardware. You can do this by mounting the DA2 to your pole, handheld bracket, or whatever other mounting apparatuses you have. As a reminder, if you're mounting uh, or pole mounting the DA2 to a rover rod, you'll want to mount the battery with the connection face down, especially if you're working in wet conditions. The battery has a power button next to the USB port. If you push this once, it will power on the battery and it will glow green. This battery will automatically power off if it's not in use after about 10 to 15 minutes. The DA2 also has a power button on the bottom of it. Pressing this once will power up the antenna and put it into Bluetooth discoverable mode. You can verify this by the blue flashing light. This means we are ready to Bluetooth your antenna to your mobile device. Next, you'll want to open your iOS settings and turn on Bluetooth if you haven't already and search for your DA2 antenna. Once it's available, you can click on it and pair it, and it will show up in your My Devices as being connected. Then it'll ask you if you want to send push notifications. I recommend turning this on. You should now see a solid blue light on your Catalyst DA2 antenna, and this means that your device is connected. Once you've verified you're connected, you can open the Trimble Mobile Manager application, and if it's your first time, you can accept the license agreement. It will also ask you if you'd like to provide the app with access to Bluetooth. You need to accept this. From here, click on the menu in the upper left, the three dash lines, and then click on the sign in option in the upper right with the arrow. You will need to sign in with the Trimble ID that you've assigned to your Catalyst subscription. If you haven't done this already, please see our other video on managing and administering licenses with the Trimble License Manager. Now that you're logged into your Trimble account, you can select a position source from the main screen. Click on List of Connected Devices, then choose your DA2 and tap Connect. You'll now see the DA2 listed as the position source. If you're outside, you might see it tracking satellites already. Next, click on the menu option in the upper left and select GNSS Configuration to set up your real-time corrections. If you click on the GNSS correction source, you can select the custom local option if you're wanting to utilize your own interrupt corrections over the internet or a network correction source such as an RTN or VRS network. Here you can enter in your IP address, port number, and login credentials as required. However, if you're like most of us, you'll be using Catalyst corrections that come with your subscription. To utilize these, you can select the Auto Trimble Corrections Hub setting. Then, you'll want to set your GNSS output to auto. By doing this, the data will be output in a North American Datum 1983-2011 reference frame. You can then click on Menu and go back to the home screen. Then you can connect to your receiver and verify that it's applying the real-time corrections. As a reminder, you'll need to be outside to track satellites. As you can see, it quickly goes from an autonomous position to using RTX and providing a high level of accuracy with my Catalyst 1 subscription all the way down to centimeter precision. If you've purchased on-demand hours, please note that as soon as you hit the start button, the software will activate an hour block and subtract this from your pool of available hours. I recommend not using this until you are ready for thorough testing or on your project ready to work. You will need an internet connection in the field to activate the on-demand hours. You can now disconnect from your receiver. When disconnecting, the Trimble Mobile Manager will have saved all of your configured settings and ArcGIS field maps will reference them once set up correctly. You can now exit the app and open ArcGIS field maps. You can sign in with ArcGIS Online or use your enterprise system using your Esri named user account. Once logged in, it will take a few seconds to load your existing maps as a reminder, if you don't have any maps, you'll need to create these in ArcGIS Online or publish them with Portal before going out into the field to collect data. 
Frontier does provide consultative services to help you create maps for field data collection if you need assistance with this. To connect to your DA2 within field maps, you'll need to click on the blue profile menu button in the upper left and choose GNSS provider. By default, field maps will have your device's internal GPS receiver connected. You can click on add in the upper right and select your DA2. Then you'll want to set your antenna height. If you're using a rubber rod, it will be 2 meters. If you're hand holding, use your best judgment based upon your height and roughly how far the DA2 antenna will be from the ground. In this instance, I'm going to put in 1.5 meters because I'll be hand holding it. Now that you've accepted the antenna height, a very important notification will pop up. Please do not disregard this, as you'll need to provide ArcGIS field maps with access to the location of where Trimble Mobile Manager uh, stores its configurations. So go ahead and click on Browse. Then click on On My Phone, the Mobile Manager folder, and click Open. You might see the Mobile Manager app behind the scenes, and this is normal as Field Maps is accessing the files to get your settings. You'll also receive a notification that your location profile is incorrect. You can click OK and go into your profile settings. As a reminder, we've configured the DA2 in Triple Mobile Manager to output data as NAND 2011, so we'll need to tell ArcGIS Field Maps that this is happening. The location profile allows us to define the GNSS reference frame and the map coordinate system to apply a proper datum transformation. If you're using ArcGIS Online with a hosted feature layer, your map will most likely be in Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. If you're using a mobile map package with a custom base map, you'll need to set the output to match the reference frame of those files. Next, choose a map extent of the area that you'll be working. Field maps will provide a list of relevant datum transformations. Here I will select WGS 1984, ITRF 2008, to 983 2011. It will then ask for a profile name. You can name this whatever you'd like. After you've named it, you'll notice that it will often still have the default profile selected. You will need to select the profile from the other list. You can then click Done as this completes the basic configuration of the DA2 and open a web map. And once the web map is open, you can click on the top bar that shows the accuracy. And when doing so, this will give you information about the DA2 being connected as well as the estimated accuracy values. You should be now set and ready for basic data collection as long as your map is in Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere.